Hey, hey everyone, and a welcome in, a welcome back. It's a monkey mar. Before we get into today's uh, video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. I have decided to look into the Stephanie Hollingsworth mom of three out of Orlando, Florida. She's been missing since September 25th at 2020. So this past Friday, it marked two weeks that she went missing. With that, guys, let's uh, get into it. So where is Stephanie Hollinsworth? Mom of three has battled demons, but vanishing is out of the norm, husband says. So we've got a husband involved. Friday marks two weeks since Stephanie Hollingsworth disappeared and her family is asking the public for help in finding the loving mother of three. Hollingsworth, 50, of Orlando, Florida, was last seen on September 25th at the Bank of America with drawing $20 from the ATM. According to Bell Island Police surveillance camera, a video showed Hollinsworth at a Walmart on Golden Rod Road where they say she bought a bottle of vodka. Driving a 2000 silver colored Tahoe, Hollingsworth went northbound after leaving the Walmart police said and that was the last time she was seen. We are currently tracking down all leads and tips provided by the public and what their own investigation has covered. Bell Island Deputy Police Chief Travis Grimm told Inside Edition Digital, we are getting multiple, multiple leads through the crime line from people calling the department or from volunteers. Grimm said he is using all local agencies tracking down all video footage that is available. He has teams searching wooded areas as well as bodies of water and aviation units and civilian drone pilots to assist in the search. When someone is missing, we never rule out they are in danger, said Grimm, who said that they will continue to search until they find something. During a phone interview, Scott Hollinsworth, 50, described his wife of 25 years as a loving wife and, demo and devoted mother to their three teenage sons, 15, 17, and 21, who stayed at home for the last 15 years to raise them. Seems like a lot of other stories of missing moms that have gone missing, doesn't it? He said their two youngest were in school the day she disappeared, but said their oldest son was home from college and taking classes remotely. The family didn't have any special plans that day, and he and his son hadn't realized exactly when she left the house, but believe it may have been around 1, 1 30, he said. He said she had her purse and wallet, but had left her cell phone behind. I do not know any woman, especially me, who leaves the house even to go to the store and leave the cell phone behind. It wasn't unlike her to be running around leaving her phone behind, he said. I don't know. For some reason, my inside sense is saying, I don't agree with that. Hollinsworth pointed out that it was uncharacteristic for his wife to be away for such a long period of time without any contact with anyone. Stephanie has never gone away. She was home every night. She would never want to be away from her family. That is why I feel something happened behind her control. As a vulnerable moment, I feel she is in danger, he said. Stephanie is very active in the women's ministry, and many of the young girls look up to her describing her as a person with all heart that people were just drawn to. Stephanie has an amazing glow about her, he said. Everyone was magnetized by her. She was always so positive. She was always so positive and gave everything she had to everyone. So let's pause that. We have the husband speaking of his wife, in past tense as if she is no longer here. Stephanie has battled alcohol addiction most of her life and over the last few months, but her drinking seemed to escalate recently, he said, while she was purchasing a bottle of vodka. 
Stephanie had a lifetime dealing with anxieties and depression, just dealing with life and using alcohol as a way to escape. She gave everything she had to everyone, but she had internal battles that were real, he said. I want to make this public and make people understand that it is too hard to get people to talk about this. Since uh, many feel it is taboo, the video shows she did buy some alcohol and I have no idea why she did that and I want people to stay focused on finding her. She always carried so much guilt and shame about this, but every day when she woke up, it was a new start and I never carried anything into the next day, he said. He said she recently, she became certified to be a yoga instructor and she was looking forward to her new venture and starting on a new path of healing. She was really excited about getting back into working and doing what she loved, said Hollingsworth, who works as a general contractor. Ah! another contractor construction man she was very excited about that Holland's worth along with family friends and some help from volunteers are searching day and night and will do everything they can to find her the parking lot of the Walmart on Goldenrod Road where Stephanie was last seen has been transformed into a command center Later this month, Stephanie will turn 51. We are holding on, he said. We remain hopeful that she will be home soon. Stephanie has hazel green eyes, long brown hair with blonde on the tips. She stands 5 foot 4, weighs 115. She has an angel wing tattoo on the back of her neck that is pink, white, and turquoise. Stephanie loves... Again, hang on, let's back this up. Stephanie loved purses that was given to her as a gift. He said maybe somebody would be able to spot that color since it was so noticeable. Second time he has spoken in the past tense about his wife. Anyone with information on Stephanie Hollandworth's whereabouts is asked to call the Bell Isle Police Department at 407-240-2473 in the Orange County Sheriff's Office dispatch number that is opened at 24 hours at 407-836-4357. And like always, I will drop that down in the description. So then we've got a new article that came out recently. Stephanie Holland's word search continues and the reward is up to to ten thousand dollars lake mary florida which is the orlando area authorities in florida are asking for help in locating a woman who was last seen withdrawing money from an atm before vanishing two weeks ago before vanishing two weeks ago crime line is now offering a ten thousand dollar reward for anyone with information that helps locate stephanie hollandsworth 50 Volunteers were out on Saturday searching for the woman in the area near where she was last seen. On the afternoon of September 25th, 2020, like I said before, she withdrew $20 from the Bank of America. And after leaving the couple's home in the Orlando suburb of Belle Isle. So then Monday, the police released a new surveillance video, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. The family is asking for volunteers to help continue the search of Hollandsworth on Sunday. Beginning at 8.30 a.m., her family is asking volunteers to meet them at the family command post located at 5991 Goldenrod Road in Orlando. Then it goes on to mention again, she is a yoga instructor and she has the three boys. She was driving a 2000 silver Chevy Tahoe. The vehicle with Florida tag Y50XUR has not been located. Her brother said Saturday that a new sighting of Hollingsworth SUV was spotted going down Narcusi Road heading toward the State Road 528 and State Road 417 area. It's unclear when that possible sighting was made. Hollingsworth's brother said if, if anyone comes across her SUV, they should call 911 and not try to get inside. He said police told him the SUV is evidence and could be a crime scene. So he goes on to say that she's 115 pounds, 5 feet 4, brown hair, eyes. She was last seen wearing a black 
shirt and gray and black pants. So I'm going to drop those numbers again. And it just goes on to say that the final part of this is detectives have said they have found no evidence of foul play, but are concerned for her well-being. Okay, let's get right into this video where she was last seen on a surveillance camera. And there she is with her mask on. She is little. And I think this is where she's looking for the vodka. So that was the last video surveillance before Stephanie Hollinsworth went missing. And I guess they're set up at the command center. And there is the Walmart. A video of her. Look how little she is. There is the car. So basically, everyone's out searching for her and trying to figure out just where she went. Now, there's the husband, and I'm going to drop this link in the description, guys, so that you can watch it for yourself. Golden Rod and Narcusi Road is the last time there was a confirmed sighting of Stephanie. Her loved one sent the tip, but then it said it said the vehicle was spotted on Narcusi Road heading towards the 417-528 area. So that is what they are talking about. And they come here. They hope this new clue could bring help bring her home. They are pleading for more volunteers to search for Stephanie. And any new information, the reward for information leading to her whereabouts has increased to 10000 So Matt Treza from Fox 35, he seems to be really on top of this case. And from Twitter. So then the husband says, the search is going very well, said Stephanie's husband, Scott. We are having amazing support a lot of people are showing up giving everything they can their talents and abilities whether it's boots on the ground or flying drones he added that we only feel like we have enough to say that the truck made it to lake nona high school from there not sure yet but they are working a lot of leads we're just trying to get video so that's where that is with that and we are going to go real quick and take a ride by the area of the Walmart and the Bank of America. And I think I'm going to go ahead and look into the background of the husband because I just feel like being nosy. Okay, let's go and get a visual of where she lives, where she was going, the bank, the Walmart, and where they last saw her car headed. So she lives in this area. Obviously, she came out. She went to the Bank of America. Not sure if she came back this way or she came this way. Here is the Walmart that she went to. And then she leaves and it shows her car heading towards the Beeline Highway, which is the 528 and the 417. And this is where it meets. So her coming down... Narcusi Boulevard, I mean, she could have come this way, but seeing the car, maybe she came, I don't know, that's left to be seen, but the car was heading this way, the car was seen, a sighting supposedly around here, you know, she could have been on the beeline to head back to her house and got off at this interchange and went up to her house, nobody knows, and I'm sure they do have cameras on the beeline because that is a toll road and let's go have a look of the area where she lives looks like a typical florida neighborhood considering i have spent most of my time in the northeast and the southeast as in southeast florida so this is the road this is her neighborhood 
and she was going to go to the Walmart. It's never been seen again since. So I am going to keep an eye out on this story. I looked into the husband's background a little bit. So the neighborhood and then let's get back into an aerial and see from above. So here is the Bank of America where she would drew the money because it's closest to the Walmart. And then we've got the Walmart right about here. So that is the aerial of where she went missing. And this is the Walmart. And this is the Walmart that they have the command center set up to help find Stephanie Hollinsworth. And let's go see what I have found on Mr. Hollinsworth. All right, guys. And what I found weird is that he has got a lot of names all the way to a Shelly Don. Shelly Don Hollings. I mean, just look at the names. You can look at them for yourself. It's just crazy. I cannot find the Shelly into his family line, but I really haven't dug into him too deep. I also know that he has a construction company or where they redo and refurbish houses. One sec. Let me recheck that information. And here is his a LinkedIn page. We've got him as the president at Q Rose Incorporated and this is a general contracting corporation that specializes in strategically planning a project to best fit the individual needs of each client. The largest percentage of our work currently consists of residential custom remodels and commercial tenant interior build-outs. We base everything on quality, integrity, and developing long-term relationships. So that is what I have on this case so far. And like I said, I am definitely going to stay on top of it. And another thing I found interesting is the marriage license that I found on Scott and Stephanie. All I am gonna say is this case seems like it might be complicated. Because now I see that's what I said earlier about him being Scott, but now married, he's George Scott Hollingsworth and Stephanie Y. Hollingsworth, second marriage as well. But what I told you earlier about the other names that he was connected to is who I believe is his first wife, which is Shelley. Hollingsworth and the other names that he goes by. He also has another business that is somehow connected into the Shelley name. I think there's a little more going on than what is in the public's eye. He also has a cosmetologist license and cuts hair or used to cut hair but now he's into a different business. Another married woman missing, and the husband who has spoke about her two times in the articles that I've read so far in a past tense. All right, guys, with that, it is a wrap. Make sure you drop your comments and opinions down below. I want to thank everybody for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and subscribe. I want to wish you all a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And stay vigilant and make sure everyone gets out and votes on November 3rd. Every vote does count. And I am out.